About 50% of the 20 million bankable Kenyans still need to be reached by a financial tool, according to sector reports. Kenya's Economic Growth Blueprint Vision 2030 focuses on financial inclusion for all as one of its pillars. Financial access has to benefit all sectors of the economy and even all people who are disadvantaged, either because of physical distance or because of their income levels. And we have seen that that's why financial inclusion has been very, very important. I remember these figures about financial access survey. About 10% of the adult population is the only one, are the only ones that have been served by the formal financial system. Why is everybody running away from the formal financial system? One of them is because of barriers to entry. As a move to tap into the 300 billion shillings outside the formal banking system, Kenya's leading telco, Safaricom, has partnered with the Commercial Bank of Africa to introduce Mshwari, a micro-lending and savings product available to its subscribers. It builds on its revolutionary money transfer service, M-Pesa, which transfers 31% of Kenya's GDP. Where you qualify is just through making a saving. You have to make an initial saving because we need to bring that whole savings culture you know, into Kenya. And then after that, you, and, and usage of Safaricom products like M-Pesa and Voice, then you will data, you then qualify for a credit rating and you can borrow that amount. Mshwari is hailed as a financial innovation that allows users to save as little as one shilling and earn interest of up to 5% per annum. Its backers hope that it will foster a saving culture, especially with no ledger fees, no limits on frequency of withdrawal or other bank charges. We know that the future is never ours to predict and that emergencies like sickness and death is inevitable. For those with access to formal banking services, banks often come to the rescue. However, for the millions of the unbanked, Shylocks and kiosk owners are the redeemers. Poor people or people at the bottom of the pyramid want to have the same financial services that you and I have. And I've said this many, many times, but I believe that access to financial services should be a fundamental human right. And we should encourage all governments to bring this service to, to their people. Kenya's financial services industry is one of the highest spenders on ICT. Safaricom's partnership with CBA is seen as a case study on the convergence between the two sectors. The network has 19.2 million subscribers, 15 million of whom are M-Pesa users. This for us, if, if nothing else, um, just creates a whole paradigm shift in, uh, in the banking industry. The ability to open an account on your mobile phone within seconds. The ability to create a, a savings account within seconds. The ability to access a loan within seconds. I mean, what more? Would one want. And this is for the benefit of customers at the end of the day. The very heart of this, we realize we are a Kenyan company and we serve Kenyans and we truly embrace our Kenyan brothers and sisters and we really love the fact that we, through our innovation, we're also changing their lives, we're adding value to their lives. This is the first time that Kenyans can save, earn interest, and borrow money from a mobile phone. Only 6 million Kenyans currently hold the 12 million bank accounts in the country. For Ion Kenya, I'm Laban Cliff on Serio.